Hello and uh, welcome back to part 15 of Ashton Wharf and Yard. It's actually been five months since I last posted anything on this channel. And to be fair, I haven't been doing much hobbying of any type for the past five months. Um, <coughs> I'm fine and fit enough and well. There's been other problems that I've been on the go uh, that I've had to deal with. But uh, I'm getting to the point now where I can start to think back to the railway. Since the last episode, five months ago, I have been playing around and I've been having a think. And so once again, it's all changed. But now I think, I think, I know what I'm doing. If I zoom out just a little bit, first of all is, I am using this baseboard that was made for me by my good friend Graham of uh, Lakeside Model Railway. I'm not going to clown around with the... Uh, those sheets of MDF. I've got a good baseboard here. I'm going to use it. Now it's in this. It's kind of in the shape of a of a dumbbell. It's uh, just runs down one wall. And if I go right to the end there, I don't want to blind you with this. We've actually got a bit of sunshine today. There's a dumbbell at that end. And if I come back along here, you can see there's the, this dumbbell here. This part is going to be a small fiddle yard, as is. The other end, the other dumbbell. If we come down below, I'll have to move you a little bit. Try not to make you dizzy. I'm going to start off with the, the engine shed at the back, and you can see the a loco poking out with its attendant uh, water tower, etc. That track, ignore that. That's not going to be there. It's going to stop in the engine shed. But here, this one. That's going to be the route in for these two tracks. There's only going to be these two tracks. The centre one is basically going to be coal. That one is feeding a factory. And it's all going to come in from this point here. This point is going to run into the, as, as will the other one, run into a fiddle yard. But there'll be a separate feed into both of these tracks. I want this path, the front two tracks, to be separate from the rear. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I'll have two tracks, separate feeds, running into a small fiddle yard. Then as we move along, you can see the fishing boats are still there waiting, all the three I've built and painted so far. They are still going to go here. They'll still be berthed here. I've still got to build a platform yet to put there. They will be loaded and unloaded there. I've got to build a little piece out here for them to stand on, but that's still in place. There's, that's going to be the wharf. And this line is going to feed the wharf. If I just run along a bit, I can do it. You can see some fish vans there. It will still run all the way along here. Behind you can see the central line there and the far line. Now, I'm going to manoeuvre this that much junk in this room, I'm going to have to stand in, I think. So, if I zoom in a little bit. Right, you can see where there's some coal trucks here for the centre the center line, which I'm going to have a coal merchant there. I've got a coal stair, put some coal stairs along here, which I think will work. The factory sidings, can you see, them? let me double check. Yeah, just about. Turn it like that. The factory side in here, a couple of covered vans. There will be buffer stops at the end of here because I want this to be a yard. As you can see, there's a vehicle vehicle access point here. It blocks off here, and then the feeder the feeder line to the wharf will rejoin this main line, which will run right through the layout. I've still got to do a scenic share, and then again at this end there will be another fiddle yard there where that box is. There'll be another fiddle yard. So the track's plan is really simple. Um, basically four lines and a few points. There'll be two feeds in at uh, this end. At, or rather, you can't see. There'll be two feeds in at this end. Obviously there'll be a refeed in there so I can use the... Uh, the engine shed, which I want to shed on the layout. And 
probably of course will be I'll need a feed at far end to operate uh, that fiddle yard as well but I've got the equipment to do all that it's just a case of now we've finally decided that this is what I want I've, I've laid it out like this and it's been laid like this for quite some time and that and I'm quite pleased with it and I'm, I'm quite happy with it it's uh, I think it's got the basics you know the basis is there for a, a small reasonable end-to-end -end layout I can do a bit of variation in it and uh, hopefully I can get this built it won't be straight away I'm still spending a lot of time away in the caravan which I love going to but when I'm here um, as I say I'm pretty happy with how, the, how this looks now I've still got to work out the track plan for both fiddle yards but that's that's a much as a much so I'll see how I can fit things in. I've bought a load of care points so you can see, set track, different third, second and first radius, which I can use in the fiddle yards with there. Uh, and I've got a load more um, pieces of uh, flexi track, which I can cut up to size to, to give me what I want. And I've still got a few spare points, which I can use. Uh, I don't need any more locomotives. Uh, if I can see any more cheap rolling stock, well, yeah, I'll pick it up. Any other bits and pieces that I need. I have got buffer stops. I've got all the stuff I need, pretty much. Um, so I can get back on with it. So don't think that Ashton Wharf has died. It hasn't. It's just, it's just been a bit in hibernation and I've been doing a lot of thinking. So... This is hopefully how it will look. Obviously, the scenic side at the back, uh, more buildings to put in. Uh, I want to keep it industrial if possible. I don't really want houses and pubs and things. Um, so, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, you see, I've got up on the top shelf there. I've got, I've got a fair few buildings now what I could use. But I, I don't really want it to be a, 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 a town scene. I want it to, to be you know proper mucky northern factory area with, a, with a, a wharf with a fishing wharf that's what i want it to look like so that's the update for now it's only short and sweet but uh, it's just to let any of you thinking well as he cleared off is he dead or what no i'm still here i'm still thinking about it i just haven't been doing much but i will get back to it i promise you and i'll post more updates soon so thanks very much for watching and I'm, I still seem to be acquiring subscribers even though I haven't posted for five months so thank you to all of you who are subscribing and I do watch your videos I don't always comment but I do watch them all so um, it's always an inspiration to see what other people are doing so anyway I'm rabbiting now so I'll stop and uh, hopefully I'll speak to you soon on the next one so it's bye for now